Hello students, welcome to environmental science, our very first day. I wanted to give you a tour of the course. Um, when you open D2L, you'll see this homepage, which has um, weekly news in it. So right now there's several news items um, that you should be reading and taking note of. Welcome to environmental science, my contact information, and this very important message, message about um, Firefox version 23. Um, if you have Firefox Fox set to automatically update, you already have 23. So please try to use Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. The cool thing about Internet Explorer is you can drag the classroom onto your taskbar. I'll show you that. Let me move my window here. Notice how right over here I have a proprietary item on my taskbar that brings me right to the classroom. It's very helpful. Um, so that's a new thing I learned about Internet Explorer. Now also here's your first day items. Hopefully you're getting through these. I see no one has um, introduced themselves in the student introductions and I assume that is because you are still reading the course. Good job! Okay, now let's go up and look at our main navigation bar up here, okay? All of the course content is in content. When you click on an item in content, the information loads here on the right side. So you want to start with start here and read through our science division policies, sign the um, science division tenets, and um, submit that to the Dropbox. So for any writing assignments, this commitment and your lab um, work will go into this Dropbox link right here. But let's stay in content for a second. Okay, after you get through the Start Here menu, read through the syllabus. And I'll show you another cool trick. If you click on the 15-week schedule, um, it'll come up. If you wanted to open in a new browser, browser click Control Enter, and you'll get a new tab, so you won't lose the page you're on. Okay, now see this fancy little tool here, Add Bookmark? It's very helpful if you bookmark the pages that you visit frequently, like the course schedule that has all the deadlines on it. Now back in the table of contents, you'll see bookmarks is first. And um, so whatever you're currently working on, you can bookmark and then um, remove the bookmark when the module's over, for example. Okay, after you get through the syllabus, you're going to come to Wiley Plus Links. Okay, this is where your e-text is. When you click on here, you'll see um, several links to, that bring you to the textbook. If you also want to have a paper copy, you need to purchase that through the bookstore or through an online resource. Then we'll scroll down here and we'll see that we'll get into our content. Um, and the very first important content to look at is this module, Science as a Process. All CCC online students are going through this module in the first two weeks of class. It has its own task list and assignments. Okay, it has several parts, but this is supposed to be a warm up for you um, to get going while you're waiting for your lab kit. And you'll see that there are several activities with very quick deadlines. So please jump right into the course. Don't wait because you will definitely miss out on this activity, which is also our census activity i.e. the activity that tells me that you are present and attending class. Okay, the very first um, part of this module is to participate in the What is Science discussion topic. So through the table of contents, so you can enter a discussion this way, okay, and then leave using this return to content button right here. Okay, compose your message. 
Um, and this is just a one, a single post discussion. What is science? And there are no wrong answers. Please um, don't look up a definition. Just tell us what your impressionable mind thinks science is right now on the first day of class. You can also enter the discussions using the main nav bar right here. And if you go through this way, you'll see a complete list of discussions topics. So here are some tips for discussion viewing. Um, here we have a general topic where you can um, post messages and um, help each other out with those questions that you have. The student introductions discussion is also a first step in this class. Get in there and tell us a little bit about yourself and start to meet your classroom community. Academic integrity discussion is our first graded discussion. And then you can also talk with our librarian using this discussion here. Now, the Sciences the Process module that I just mentioned has several components. See, there's that um, topic we were just looking at. Just tell us briefly what is science. Don't look anything up. Just tell us what you think. Okay, and then we'll go through some other um, discussions and notice that there are very short deadlines on these discussions so it is very important that you get in there early in the class and get participating. I'm going to scroll back up I'm going to show you that Dropbox. So there are Dropbox, link, Dropbox links in the content where we were before but you can also look at it from this view here the main nav bar. Okay these are not organized in chronological fashion. Do not go through this course by using the deadlines for the labs. That will not help you. A lot of these labs have long setup times, one to two weeks. One has a six week setup time. So if you just go to the Dropbox and look at what to do, you won't be getting your work done in a timely fashion. The best way to navigate through this class is to use the tools on the main nav bar and click checklist. Okay, Here you're going to find a work checklist um, and these things are in order of things that need to be done throughout the semester. So it'll say set up a lab, you know, and it will tell you how long the lab will take. Okay, um, In assessments you'll find your quizzes and the first survey. There's only one survey associated with the science as a process module. So that'll probably be the first thing you're doing here in this assessments tab. In the communications tab, you can also get to discussions. You can use the email function to send me an email. And please use the email tab within D2L to email me. Don't email me through the CCCS email system. Um, it really helps me to keep a record of our communication if you use this tool within D2L. Um, the other thing to note is that when you're in D2L, you cannot actually email out of the system. You can only email your classmates and me. Um, an email from D2L will not deliver to Gmail or ccs.edu. Okay? The last thing to note about the checklists is this is related to the um, course content coming from your textbook. There is not a checklist item here for the science as a process um, module. So you'll want to use that task list and assignments that we were looking at before. Oops. Right. Oh, hold on one second. Right here, this task lists and assignments. So I'm going to just go ahead and open that and bookmark it. So I have it available in the first couple of weeks of the semester. Please let me know if you have any questions. Your lab kits will be mailed on um, the day after census, which is September 18th. It is very, very important that you go into the portal of your home college and make sure you have a physical address listed for um, your lab kit delivery. The lab kits cannot be delivered to a post office, and if they get delivered to your parents' house or a former address, 
we will not be able to extend the deadlines. Well, thanks so much. I hope you have a great first day. Please contact me at any time.